What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Show to like and sub, and let's get into this. I mean, the last time I heard about Square Enix, they were being grilled by one of their shareholders about what exactly their relationship was, past and present and future, with Sweet Baby Inc., and they got a resounding nothing back for them. So everything going forward with uh, Square Enix is a little bit compromised, as far as I'm concerned, until we get any information going forward. And the information we're getting going forward is looking like the compromise is the right thing. So here we go. Here's the report. Square Enix removes male and female character options from upcoming Dragon Quest Three HD 2D remake. All right. Here's how they do it. Instead of, uh, oh, we're just, we're just remaking it. We're making it for the modern audience. Uh, so this report coming from uh, Ryoku Yatta 2089. I said it right. Uh, who claims via machine translation that the game has no distinction between male and female heroes. Uh, Ryu notes the characters are labeled A and B with the A version appearing like a male hero while the B version is a female hero. Uh, even noting that the A version is voiced by male actor Hayama Nobuyuki, while the B version is voiced by Minaguchi Yuko. <laughs> On top of the main character having their sex removed from the character select, jobs will also no longer be distinguished by gender in name. Interesting. What was like cooking a female profession? What exactly is a black job? Someone answer Mark Hamill. He wants to know. Uh, it was revealed back in 2019 that Square Enix has an ethics department. And this ethics department was the reason why Tifa's chest was tightened in Final Fam uh, Fantasy VII Remake. The game's director revealed that the department telling Weekly, uh, we wanted Tifa to have abs. So she now has more of an ethic athletic body type uh when they reduce the tits and they look like men they say oh yeah athletic uh the ethics department at square enix also said we had to tighten her chest so it doesn't look unnatural during all the intense fighting because of that we added black thigh highs and a tank top uh this is just going to square enix's frame of mind here a square enix representative would explain the purpose of the ethics department to polygon uh following the comments in, in the square enix japan studios the ethics department is actually a group within the company that evaluates game content to make sure it is aligned with the anticipated age ratings standards across the globe okay um, in, in, in this case, we wanted a new generation of gamers to experience Final Fantasy VII Remake and are working very closely with the games, uh, the company's internal experts to make sure all of the game's content is appropriate. If that's the case, then you need to have an option for the adult gamers so that they can experience the original content in modern times. And let's be honest, intention or not, most of the people that bought that were adults. Not everything... Yeah. Uh, e even if you did want an entire generation, it would still be the adults buying those games. So uh, it's revealed back in 2019 that Square Enix. Oh, sorry. They're, they're, that's their ethics. And that's why they did that. So an interview with Square Enix uh, employee Marie Tanabe provided more details on it, uh, explaining after working as a game designer in the development of online games, I am now a member of the quality control department ethics team where I check all games developed by our company for expressions from an ethical perspective. Specifically, I check all game expressions, including scenarios, illustrations, designs, and effects to ensure that they do not contain expressions that are discriminatory, prejudicial, or offensive, and that they are in compliance with ratings. And so we are fine with violence, but you cannot have Tifa booby. And in this case, we cannot have defined male or female sexes. I don't, I'm still not understanding how that, the only way this lines up is if you go to what they always say it is, and they don't want to offend that modern audience of trans men, basically, who cannot, the unrealistic beauty standards of actually looking like a beautiful passing woman. And so they make them all a little bit, a little bit iffy, a little bit smudged, a little bit of Vaseline on the mirror. Um, and then this is just going into further detail about their ethics department, which, yeah, I'm bored too. Uh, by removing the option to choose between male and female, it seems abundantly clear that Square Enix is catering to the transgender ideology and dear God, he's going to quote Pope Francis, but you get the idea. I, I mean, this might be something actually worthy this time. At least it's not the archdiocese, but basically that the difference and uh, re reciprocity in nature of a, in nature, man and a woman 
Invis envisages Jesus Christ. You should not have used Google Translate for that. Basically, what he's saying is maybe not the best idea to obfuscate the differences between men and women. They're sort of important to society. And yeah, like I mentioned in the beginning, this is all on the tail end of a shareholder contacting Sweet Baby Inc. during one of their meetings and like, hey, what's going on with you and Sweet Baby Inc., uh, that Canadian consultancy company? Because it's all downhill, basically, when you get, you know, what what, what is the nature and are you going to continue to do it? And the response he got was, I would like to refrain from making specific comments about individual clients. As we shift from quantity to quality, same bullshit that Marvel pulls, uh, providing content that is enjoyable and safe, going to need sensitivity readings, safe for our customers is also part of what makes a product fun. We will do our best as creators to give you shit that has gone through approved sweet baby ink channels no either way that's just to say that you know they don't even need sweet baby ink they have their own dei and how many times do you also need to see ubisoft and square enix they all have these internal documents that uh dna is at the heart of their company or dna is at the heart dei is the dna at the heart of their company and they say it themselves so i wouldn't worry we're probably going to continue to see reports like this so uh there you go more ambiguity because we wouldn't want to offend that fictional modern audience. Anyway, let me know what you think of this. Make sure to like, share, and sub. If you have done that, thank you. If you're gonna do that, thank you. And well, well. bye.